Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today we are going to be doing our first ever PC build on the YouTube channel. Now, this is not actually a tutorial, but we will be um, showing you all the different parts and videos of us putting it together. Um, we will also have the links to all the parts that we will be using in this build down in the description below. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, this is all the parts we'll be using for the build, an AVGA 3060, an Intel Core i7 10th Gen, a 970 Evo, a Z490 Pro motherboard, and an AVGA 750 watt power supply. And last but not least, we have DDR4 RAM from Corsair. Okay, so we actually have um, some extra case fans here, as you can see, and we'll be moving this stock one here to the top so that we can have our three brand new matching ones sitting here on the front of the case. So these are actually Corsair AF120 fans and they will match the fans that are already in the case except for these are LED which is a nice bonus. Okay, so as you can see, we left the rear fan there on the back and we installed the original front fan on the bottom and then we just got the three new fans and we put them on the front just like we said earlier. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is unboxing our EVGA 750 power supply. This one is fully modular and we're going to be installing it and we'll have to find the um, necessary cables that we need for our motherboard and graphics card. Okay, so we had to check and make sure that we got all the necessary cables required for our motherboard, graphics card, and CPU. So we had to get the one motherboard cable, of course, and we had to get two CPU cables, the cable for the graphics card, and lastly, the cable to power the hard drive. So let's go ahead and plug all these cables into the power supply, and then we're going to install it into the PC case, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to slide in the power supply now, making sure that the fan is actually facing down so it can get the proper airflow. Now we're just going to install the back screws on the power supply to keep it secure. Okay, so we have successfully installed the power supply. We screwed everything in and we went ahead and turned the switch on so that we don't forget to do that later because that just seems like something that we might do. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and unbox or unwrap the hard drive and we're going to set it in its hard drive tray. By the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our unboxing video on this case. Link will be in the description or you can click the link here. So now we're just snapping in the uh, motherboard's plate for all the I.O. We're just snapping in the I.O. panel here on the back of the case. And then next we're going to move to installing our CPU on our motherboard. And then we're going to install the motherboard. Okay, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but we got the I.O. port successfully snapped into place. All right, so now let's go ahead and show our motherboard configuration. So we have an MSI Z490 Pro, and with that we'll have a 10th gen Intel Core i7-10700F. And we'll also be using two 8GB DDR4 RAM sticks from Corsair. Here we also have the Samsung 970 Evo M.2 SSD. It is one terabyte that we will be installing on our motherboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox our CPU and then we will proceed to install it on the motherboard. Okay. 
Okay, so we have opened up the CPU socket and it's time to pop in our new CPU and apply the thermal paste. And we have successfully installed our Intel CPU. Okay, so we have our thermal paste here and we also have our CPU core which is going to plug in right here. All right, so we have successfully installed our SSD, our RAM, and now our CPU. Now it is time to put the motherboard into the PC case and then install the graphics card, do some cable management, and hopefully boot it up. Okay, so we are dropping in the motherboard, hopefully, but not literally. Okay, so now we are going to install our eight screws that go around the motherboard to secure it. All right, so as you can see, it took us a bit of time, but we've finally gotten at least a decent amount of cable management here. We're gonna tie these up once we get the graphics card in um, just to make it look tidy. Okay, so as you can see, we have a really clean setup here. We don't have hardly any cable showing, and this loose one here is just for the graphics card, so we're about to install that. But the first one we have is the motherboard power connections, and then we have directly under that our USB connections, and then we have all of our I.O., um, or the rest of our I.O. for the power button down there at the bottom. So as you can see, that's sort of what our um, power diagram looks like here. And then we have five fan connectors, which you can see here. And we also have our CPU power connectors up there in the corner. All right, so we have to take off two of the IO covers here for the graphics card, which we will be plugging into the top NVMe port on our motherboard. Okay, so now we have to unbox our graphics card. For the graphics card, we selected an EVGA 3060. This is a 12 gigabyte card, and while it's not the top of the line, it should be more than enough to do all the video games that we want to play on this PC, including most VR and a lot of video editing. Okay, now it is time to actually install the graphics card, finally. And just like that, the graphics card is installed. Now time to finalize some cable management and then install Windows 10 Pro, maybe even Windows 11. Okay, so we finished up uh, cable managing the back and now we are putting on the back plate. Okay, it is now time for the moment of truth. Does it turn on? We do not have an OS installed yet, but we're gonna see if it boots into the BIOS. Okay, so it only took like two power cycles, but we got it to boot into the BIOS. Okay, so basically since we installed our own graphics card, it just required an extra power cycle to actually initialize it and um, get everything to show up on the screen. So here we are, now it's time to install Windows. Okay, so Windows 10 is installing and we'll be back to you when it's done. Okay, as you can see, Windows is now fully set up and installed. Now it's time to play some games. So the first game we have is Ori and the Blind Forest. Um, this is just a simpler game, but it does run at very high graphic settings and it runs the game quite well. This next game is called Just Cause 3. As you can see, it's a bit more graphically intense and it runs in mostly high settings. I'm pretty sure the settings can go just a little bit higher, but as you can see, the graphics look great. It is running at a perfect 60 FPS with hardly any lags. Now we have Beam and G Drive, which is also running in almost the highest settings and as you can see the ray tracing looks absolutely amazing on this you can see the shadows very well as well as all the reflections on the car it just looks absolutely stunning on this 3060 graphics card and this is actually running at 60 fps most of the time i don't ever think it lagged and lastly we have minecraft with a custom texture pack and it looks absolutely amazing and that concludes my first pc build on this 
YouTube channel. I hope that there will be more future videos on this computer as such as gaming reviews, some video editing. We'll also do different product reviews because we have a VR kit with it as well as a review on the monitors that we use in the future. But make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel so you're notified when any new videos come out. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.